Assalamu alaikum. Tonight uh, we return again with the same topic, talking about Laylatul Qadr, providing uh, a few more evidence, a little, uh, you know, a few more evidence uh, regarding the the fact that it is not just one night in the year. This is great news, and I hope you are as happy as I am in sharing this information. Inshallah, we will review uh, three verses from Surah Fussilat and we will review them and you will make a decision for yourself. I just ask you to listen patiently and to hear what these verses say and you decide. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Fussilat, which is verse uh, Surah uh, 41, chapter 41, starting with verse 30. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين so the translation is as follows. I, I broke them up, by the way, there are three or four verses, uh, verse 30, 31, 32, 33, and I broke them up this way uh, so that we can translate each, each sentence uh, and give it its due you know, meaning and indications and discuss it in as much details as time allows. So the first sentence, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is again Surah Ghafir 41, chapter 41 uh, verse 30 those who say our lord is allah and then persist upon the self-correcting method in engaging the quran i will come back to this sentence right here the self-correcting method in a few uh, in a few seconds but let me continue the verses and give you the great news as to what allah promises these people so there's a group of people who say who, who proclaim strongly who have confidence our Lord is Allah, no one else. And then they persist upon this self-correcting method. We will see what this method is. So what happens to those people? Angels descend upon them. Repeatedly, they descend upon them repeatedly, again and again, saying, telling them, do not fear and do not grieve. And be assured that you will be granted the paradise that you have been promised. So this is a message that the angels give to these people. First, they give them the peace, the tranquility. Do not fear and do not grieve. Remember in Surah Al-Qadr, the last, the last verse of Surah Al-Qadr, Salam, peace, don't fear, don't grieve. This is the message. The other message is you will receive Jannah. A promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has promised you. You will receive it. You shall receive it. But there is more. The beautiful message here. وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعَدُونَ نَحْنُ أَوْلِيَاءُكُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ We are going to be your supporters in this life and in the hereafter. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a non-stop uh, companionship by the angels 24 7 so there's a group of people who are given this now we're gonna see who are these people we're, we're, we're gonna discuss it in detail but now I'm, I'm just giving you exactly what what they what these people are promised the angels tell them we are your supporters in this life and in the hereafter and in both you shall receive whatever you desire whatever whatever your your self desire وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ Whatever you seek to get, you're going to get. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And you receive what you proclaim. Remember over there we said uh, Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand proclamations. This is, this is exactly what this is talking about. So this is better than a million proclamations. Whatever you proclaim. You proclaim that you want the highest level of Jannah, work for it, and here's the pathway. Here's how you do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the path 
the methodology. And this is exactly what this verse is talking about, methodology. Now, we continue. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And you shall receive in both this life and the hereafter whatever you proclaim. نُزُلًا مِنْ غَفُورٍ رَحِيمٍ a, a ready abode, a ready welcome from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who restores ghafoor and ghafara has been, has been mistranslated often as the one who forgives ghafoor. But the actual meaning, if you go back to the root and really analyze using our methodology in the whole Quran, is the one who restores the proper purity and the proper connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you achieve this connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a promise and a welcome and, a, and, a, and an abode from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is the one, the most merciful, Rahim. And then the conclusion of this verse or this, this set of verses is a verse that we're all familiar with. But here I'm going to give you a little bit more detail uh, it says, who is better? Whoever is better? Who, who is better than, uh, than someone who invites to Allah and seek the correct terminology from the Quran and proclaim to be among those who submit to Allah? Now, the, the, the Arabic says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا Who uses the more, uh, the more beautiful or the more truthful wording of the supplication. The word qawl is utterance, utterance, or how you address Allah, or how you talk to Allah. And you talk to Allah, you address Allah in supplication, in dua, using the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The words that Allah, you know, endowed with the truth and with the beauty that he deposited throughout the whole Quran, 6,236 verses. So when you're, when you're using these words, you're using these sentences from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is no better. That they cannot do any better than this. And this is the key to understand this whole series. So whoever follows this method of seeking salih. The word salih is from Arabic, from the Arabic root salaha, which is the, the jadr or the root salaha. And from it we get the word mustalah, which means terminology. So therefore, whoever is working, amila salihan, seeking to work according to the terminology of the Qur'an. The terminology of the Qur'an is the key to all of this stuff. So when you, when you go back to the very beginning, the very first uh, verse, qalu rabbuna Allah, they seek only to please Allah, nobody else. Not whatever this person said or that person said. Just follow what Allah says in the Qur'an. ثم استقاموا The word استقاموا Those of you who know Arabic will notice that it has seen this scene right here and it has this تا and these two letters change the meaning of the word so he's not talking about the straight path that would be قويم استقام that means self-correct he seeks the self-correcting way in other words he seeks the methodology that Allah has deposited in the Quran and work according to the methodology by engaging the Quran using that methodology. And by engaging the Quran using that methodology, you end up with this terminology, with this terminology that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to use in our supplication, in our connection with Him, in our addressing Him, in uttering any needs or any request we have for Him. If you do all of these things, if you are truly committed and certain of what you're doing, you fall into these categories. You, f you fall into this category of this group of people who, upon whom the angels descend with the, with the message that you should not fear, you should not grieve, and you should be rewarded what you have been promised, which is Jannah, which is ultimately, this is, this is why people seek Laylatul Qadr, right? Assuming that it's one night, uh, in the last 10 days of Ramadan, well, the ultimate you could ask for is Jannah. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you, you can have this anytime you want. Look, these verses in here, this is the whole paragraph, and you can go back to Surah Fussilat, and you'll see, I didn't omit anything. I did, these are all the verses that talk about this topic. There is no exclusion. It doesn't say this is just one night. It doesn't say this is only in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. 
It doesn't say this is a specific check mark on the calendar. It says anytime these people act in this way, the angels descend on them. The angel descends upon them and give them all of this greeting and all of these rewards. Do you believe, if you believe, you fulfill these verses anytime you want, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near. I hope you understand how beautiful this news is and how you, know, you should be confident in your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should remember not to treat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a vending machine. Allah is with us anytime we go to Him, anytime we approach Him, fulfilling these conditions. He gave us this beautiful book. He put within it the methodology. He taught us the terms we should use to make the dua to connect with Him. Use it. And He's telling you, this is what happens when you do. When you follow this approach, you will have angels with you 24-7, not just one night, not just until sunrise. You know, it's, it's any time you want. تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ With no conditions. You know, there are no time restrictions on this. I hope that you see why I have been telling you that Laylatul Qadr is a type of night. It's not just one night in the year. It's not just one limited opportunity. We have the same opportunity every single night. And therefore, if you, if you seek to work with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you go through the methodology that we use from the Quran and, and this is something we've been talking about throughout the whole uh, all of these segments in the, in the channel uh, you go back and understand the methodology and you have access to all of these promises from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I hope this has been useful I bid you peace and I thank you for paying attention and uh, salam alaikum.